Today we're talking about lenses, specifically B4 mount lenses, which were made for 2 3rd inch sensors. They've been around since the 80s on Sony cameras in the beginning, but today we're putting it on a relatively modern GH4 with a 4 3rd inch sensor. Now people discovered this was possible and been putting these old lenses on new cameras for years, so I'm not presenting a brand new idea with this. My main goal was possibly to clear up some of the mystery that surrounds this and demonstrate some pros and cons. Now when I first bought this lens, I just wasn't even sure it would work. It was a leap of faith. So what's the benefit? Zoom at a price that can't be beat, with some sacrifice to image quality on the edges of the image. So what do you need? You'll need a converter that changes the mounting type and distance to the sensor. For the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras, you need a specific adapter with some extra optical correction. For other Micro Four Thirds cameras like this GH4, you can use an inexpensive adapter found on eBay and the quality is acceptable for me. You'll also need a 12 volt female to 12 pin or 6 pin Heros connector for power zoom function. Different lenses had different pinouts, so just make sure you get the right one. I've learned that external control solutions for these lenses often cost more than the camera and the lens combined, making them somewhat inaccessible. When you're looking at B4 lenses, I would recommend only looking at lenses made to fit a 2 3rd inch sensor, and not other more obscure sizes such as half inch sensor for example. Half inch B4 and 2 3rd inch B4 are not interchangeable, and you'll need separate adapters for each lens type. On the GH4, if you use the extended teleconvert feature, you can use any 2 3rd inch B4 lens without vignetting. Other cameras that can't crop in on the sensor like the GH4 will need a B4 lens that has a 2 times doubler on it to fill their sensor fully or an optical piece like a 2 times tele extender to achieve the same result. So who is this for? Well it really fits live production workflows where image quality isn't being held to the highest standard. It's a cheap way to get a really really awesome zoom lens. Now let's compare an $800 native Panasonic lens to this $100 B4 lens. So if you bought a B4 lens that doesn't have a 2x extender, this is what the image will look like without a camera that can crop its own sensor, or that has a 2x teleconverter. Now watch as I engage the 2x extender or doubler built into the lens itself. Suddenly our lens is fully covering the sensor area on this micro four thirds sensor. But the GH4 in particular has a trick up its sleeve that can fix this issue. So now I've engaged the internal digital teleconverter on the GH4, effectively making the GH4 a 2 3rd inch sensor camera. I'll only be using a 1080p portion of the 4K sensor. Now I have the full focal range of this lens. Notice that as I engage the doubler, the amount of light that's being let in gets cut and the exposure drops dramatically. Another consideration when using crop sensor mode on the GH4 is that the B4 lens needs to be stopped down to about f4, which lowers the available light. Could be a concern on dimly lit stages or nighttime shoots, but not during the day. Here is a slow zoom on the B4 lens. It actually has a little setting where you can change the speed at which the motor reacts. Now here's a quick zoom on this particular B4 lens. I'm sure the law performs a little bit differently. This is an old lens with motors that it could be a little bit tired, but this is its full zoom. I'm sure other motors are, can be faster, and who knows, maybe, uh, you know, maybe they can eat up more amperage or something and I'm not giving it enough power. I don't really know, but this is as fast as mine goes. I'm sure there's others that go faster. All right, now let's take a look at this $800 native lens. First of all, let's just take a look at the zoom range. Now let's compare this zoom range with the B4 zoom range. And remember that you can't seamlessly engage and disengage the crop sensor setting, especially if you're recording internally on the GH4. It has to be set on or off before you hit the record button. Now for my eye, the Panasonic lens looks sharper and there are less optical flaws. 
You can also get more light in and shoot in darker environments. But depending on the use case, the zoom range at a compromise of image quality can be extremely useful. That's it folks, now go out and further inflate the market for used camera equipment that's 25 years old. Happy hunting!